and gentlemen, let us welcome to the stage the youngest speakers ever for the CISC Talks, Dylan and Kylie Baker. And we are in the sixth grade. We are honored to share with you today our concerns and passions. I know you're probably thinking, what are some kids doing here? But we are here to call you to action. Our oceans and even our island is being overrun by trash. Some of it, no, most of it, is single-use plastic, such as plastic bottles or plastic bags, things that we would normally only use once and throw away. But we want to change that and have no single-use plastic on our we would like to preserve our island's natural beauty and keep Guam the tropical paradise we love and help inspire other communities around the world to clean up their own trash. Our family loves to spend time in nature and it deeply saddens us when we see trash in places other than the garbage bins. Our family once went on vacation to a remote Indonesian island chain called the Anambas Islands. Most of the islands we visited had no inhabitants but still had trash all over the beaches. Recycling is no longer an option. <laughs> My parents had a choice. They could recycle and feel good about it or not. But we have to start incorporating it into our everyday lives or else our world would be polluted and our food chains overrun and poisoned. You have probably heard lots of scary information. But instead of talking about microplastics, let's talk about single-use plastic bottles. We buy one for, let's say, $2, drink it, and then throw it away. We ask you to take a moment to consider the amount of time, energy, and resources used to create that and ship it all the way to Guam. Have you ever tasted water out of a plastic bottle and thought it tasted kind of strange? Do you know that you may be drinking plastic? Somewhere along the shipping and storage on Guam, that bottle may have been heated and the plastic leached into the, into the water. These bottles are continuing to clog up our landfill. Did you know every year about one person on Guam makes about 1,750 metric pounds of trash. Let's multiply that by our population, and Guam creates a whopping 297 million metric pounds of trash every year. That equals about 1,200 blue whales. With the growth of our world and economy, if we don't change soon, we may go past the point of no return. But don't get me wrong, plastic is not a bad resource. We wouldn't be where we are today without plastic. Plastic is in almost everything that we use, such as phones, cars, the materials to build our homes, and so much more. So as I said before, plastic is not necessarily bad. It's only bad if we don't recycle it properly. We hope in the future we can find an alternative to plastic. But that does not fix the problem that already exists. Our world is covered in plastic, and we need to find a way to stop making more and reuse what we have. Plastic does not biodegrade, but breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. This means it will never go away. It will stay in our oceans and may end up in one of the five garbage patches around the world. So that's what got us thinking about what we can do to help. So our family started a nonprofit organization called One World, One Step. Our first project is the Clean Water Guam Initiative. We bought a water bar that we put at events to minimize the use of single-use plastic. It's right out there down the hall. It is a double filtration system that takes normal tap water and turns it into good, tasty, filtered drinking water. Event organizers are asked to form attendants to bring their own water bottles. We hope that by 2025, Guam stops importing single-use plastic bottles and starts using its own water in the aquifer. But that option may not be available much longer if we don't stop illegal dumping and polluting our water. We bought water bars that we we're going to put at, in at our school in the next month to reduce the use of single-use plastic bottles. We hope to achieve a ban in all single-use plastics in all of the schools on Guam within the near future. You can read You can, we could better learn to divide our trash into paper, plastic, metal, organic, and glass. Then we can 
burn, compost, and recycle our trash to reduce the impact on our landfill. We could also build an incinerator on Guam to burn trash and create a sustainable source of energy. We are both just 12, but don't underestimate us. We've discussed problems, and now we'd like to share some of our suggestions and solutions. You can reuse, recycle, and upcycle. Reusing is when you reuse a product more than once. Recycling is when you convert waste into usable materials, and upcycling is when you take a product and turn it into something else. Like, I once made a skirt out of one of my, one of my mom's old blouses. I'm wearing it right now. Or making art out of trash. Instead of throwing away old beer and wine bottles, you can cut them into drinking glasses and use them in your everyday life. Our first step would be to reduce the amount we use. Buy groceries and containers in glass or metal. Then actively recycle and upcycle items that we cannot find other solutions for. We have started to create a pledge called the One World One Step Pledge. You would pledge to be an ambassador for our environment. That you will eliminate single-use plastic in your lives. That you will strive to correctly recycle items that can be recycled. That you will carry reusable bags, straws, containers, and utensils with you wherever you go. And we'll purchase items that use alternative storage containers such as glass or metal. We challenge you to take our One World One Step Pledge and the Guam Green Commitment. Please contact us after our presentation for more details. We know there's already a legislation to ban plastic bags on Guam by 2021, which is a step in the right direction. But we believe that we can do more than that. We hope that by 2025, we will stop the importation of single-use plastic to Guam. 2025 is also the same year we graduate high school. We need to start taking... We need to start taking the future into our own hands. We can't wait for the government to create laws and legislations. We as a community can make a difference. Could you imagine the impact this ban would have on our landfill? Another idea is if we could get all the government offices and private businesses to ban single-use plastic bottles, single-use plastic bags, and install water filled stations in some public areas. Since Since China has restricted the amount of trash it will accept, we will have nowhere to ship our trash to in the near future. Exporting trash is not a sustainable solution. We ship it off to who knows where, where it will most likely find its way back to the ocean and continue to pollute our food. Microplastics are everywhere, and we really need to find a way to collect these so they stop killing marine animals. We, my parents always told me to be responsible, which means to Deal with my own mess and clean up my own problems. Uh, deal with my own problems and clean up my own mess. <laughs> we need to stop looking at our trash as other people's problems. There are lots of great ideas out there, but they won't all happen overnight. We need to stop looking at the obstacles and start looking towards solutions. We believe we need to look towards a single-use, plastic-free Guam. We are one world when it comes to pollution. And if we all take one step in the right direction, we will all benefit. We are in this together. So we ask you. What are you going to do? If, if not, not you, who? If, if not, not now, now when? when? Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.